Hello. Well, this morning I thought I would do a little bit, something a little bit different for devotion. Um, so I have this um, uh, bookmark that has some um, scripture on it. And I have copies of it um, that I will post along with this devotion. I will try to figure out how to do an attachment because I've I've taken pictures of this, of the front and the back for you guys. Um, but I thought I would read a couple of them. So um, one on hope and then one on patience. And um, often we at staff say, if you're going to pray for patience, warn us because we don't want to experience with you how God prepares you for having more patience. But I think that maybe in this time uh, with what is going on, I think that God is trying to give us all more patience. But let's start with the passage on hope. So it's from 1 Peter chapter 1, verses 3 through 5. So let me read that to you. Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. In his great mercy, he has given us new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead and into an inheritance that can never perish, spoil, or fade, kept in heaven for you, who through faith are shielded by God's power until the coming of the salvation that is ready to be revealed in the last time. Living hope. That's what we all, um, that's all we want. That's, as Christians, what we focus on. And so this passage says, Praise be to God and Father of the Lord Jesus Christ. It is him. Sorry, cat going by, distraction again. Um, I don't seem to be able to get through a devotion without an animal um, interfering with the camera if I'm doing the devotion at home. Sorry about that. Anyway, um, he'll move along and he'll be in the background, I'm sure. So we praise God for all uh, that he provides, for the living hope, for Jesus Christ, the hope of the world. And it says that all hope is in heaven waiting for us and we get to inherit um, just like Christ and that's what's waiting for us. So we are shielded by God's power and that gives us hope as well. And then the other on, on this um, bookmark that I wanted to talk to you about is patience. And that's from Romans 15, verses 4 and 5. So I'm going to turn to Romans 15. Verses 4 and 5. For everything that was written in the past was written to teach to teach us so that through endurance and the encouragement of the scriptures, we might have hope. I guess patience and hope kind of go together, right? May the God who gives endurance and encouragement give you a spirit of unity among yourselves as you, father, as you follow Christ Jesus. And then I'm going to do one more. It's, it's verse 6. So that with one heart and mouth, you may glorify the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. So I'm going to say that again. Um, let's hear it one more time, beginning Romans 15, verses 4 through 6. For everything that was written in the past was written to teach us, so that through endurance and the encouragement of the scriptures, we might have hope. May the God who gives endurance and encouragement give you a spirit of unity among yourselves as you follow Christ Jesus, so that with one heart and mouth you may glorify the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. What are, the word, what are the words that you heard in that, that appeared a couple of times? Remember, this is a passage on patience. I think for me, what I heard was that God gives us endurance and encouragement. Maybe endurance and encouragement is how we grow in patience. So how are you, in, how are you doing um, with endurance, with sticking in for the long haul? I have heard uh, so many stories of people losing patience and wanting to go to the lake or the river or the oceans and, and people saying, just wait, it's, it's not a good time. Uh, we have to endure, we have to be patient. And then I, I think that we need to encourage each other. So I think endurance and encouragement go along with hand in hand. And so how are you doing with encouraging others to stick with the plan, to 
keep going, to um, persevering. And I think that in those ways, we can continue to grow in our patience and in our hope. Have a blessed week and um, look for this in the, um, in the attachments. Love y'all. Bye-bye.